The NBA needs to evolve. And why not use the time that we have right now to actually do just that? Now, for a couple of years, the NBA's commissioner, Adam Silver, he has brought up the idea of possibly going to conference list seating, which means just the top 16 teams will make the playoffs. No longer will be the top eight teams in the Eastern Conference, the top eight teams in the Western Conference, just strictly the best 16 teams in the NBA are gonna duke it out in a playoffs and the winner takes all. That is truly the definition to me of the best team in the NBA winning the championship, going to this conference list seating. And why not use the time that we currently have right now to at least experiment? Let's see if we like it. The biggest obstacle, right, in years past, Lisa, that we heard from Adam Silver were traveling, traveling issues. They don't want to go back and forth. Say if you went conference list seating, right? For an example, this year, you will have the two seed being the Los Angeles Lakers. You will have the 15 seed being the Brooklyn Nets. They do not want to continue to fly across country every two games that did not make sense especially once you get to games five six and seven where you're going back and forth every single game they wanted to eliminate that this year you do not have that issue at all because you're going to be playing in orlando every team is going to be playing in orlando for the playoffs so you don't have those traveling issues that you said in years past but there's still ways around those traveling issues. Currently, the way the playoff format is, is 2-2, two, 1-1-1. Two, one, one, one. You could go back to the old school 2-3-2. Two, and two. That's the way the NBA Finals used to be set up because they had the same issue where they did not want to keep traveling back and forth. You could go two games for the higher seed, then three games for the lower seed, and then you finish out the last two games at the higher seed seed yes it's not as much of an advantage but you still get games for six and seven at home if you're the higher seed all you got to do is make sure you win one game at home the first two games and then you will ensure that you at least come back or if you win two games and then at least come back if that happens um so i think that is a a very pliable you know solution to that problem i think having the top 16 teams in the playoffs is nothing but exciting for the NBA. It doesn't, you know, you hear all of the the East is weaker, obviously not this year, but you heard that the last couple of seasons, probably the better half of the decade, last decade that is, you heard that kind of narrative that the East is weak, the East is weak, and you have teams making the playoffs in the East that wouldn't even be close to making it in the Western Conference. You eliminate all that talk, and now the best 16 game, um, best 16 teams are in. Especially if you couple that with the fact that you're thinking about lowering the game, the season length from 82 games, maybe to 72 or 70 games. Currently, each team plays what around 30 games out of conference. You play each out of conference team twice, so you're looking at 30 games out of conference. You can still keep that and go down to a 70, 72 game season, and you still have that competitive balance in terms of you're still getting the best 16 teams. So I think this is something that the league needs to experiment with. I think this is the best time for them to actually try to experiment with it while everybody is in a centralized location. And let's see it play out. It's not going to be, you know, fantasy for us. We get to actually see it in action, see if we want this to work and we want this to kind of go forward. And I think this is the best deal for everybody. And I think the NBA needs to capitalize. They need to evolve. And they need to kind of make sure you have the best playoff format out of all the major leagues. And I think this is a way to do it. Definitely will be a step in the right direction. But you guys let me know how you guys feel about it in the comment section below. Would you like to see a scenario where the teams are seeded, conference list, so top 1 through 16? Or do you like the way it's been? You know, the top 8 teams in the East, the top 8 teams in the West. I mean, to me, why not give it a shot? This is the time to do it. Let me know how you guys feel about it in the comment section below. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.